Hi, and welcome back to another episode of Cocktail Party. I'm Miss V McPherson. And I'm Miss Nostalgia McPherson. And today, Cinco de Mayo is approaching soon, so um, we decided to do a um, beer arena. Uh, I feel like Corona might be a trigger word for some people, so, so we've chosen a different kind yeah, of beer for ourselves. And you can choose any type of beer you want, so um, beer arena is what we're gonna call it. So. Sounds amazing. So <laughs> Cinco de Mayo, couple of facts. Did you know that Cinco de Mayo is not uh, Mexico's Independence Day? What? It's not. No. <laughs> it is actually, uh, so Mexico's Independence Day is actually later in the year in September. Oh. Um, it is a, um, it's She's actually- a, a little bit uneducated, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. I mean, I, thought, I thought, totally thought the same thing, but <laughs> I did some research and I, I like history and stuff like that, so. She is a big history buff. So, um, <laughs> it actually um, is, it celebrates the victory of Mexico over France at the Battle of Puebla during the Franco-Mexican uh, Franco War. So, I, did, I honestly didn't know that. And apparently, the holiday in Mexico, Cinco de Mayo in Mexico, is actually not that huge of a deal. It's like a... a They're like, oh, we don't even care. It's like a, it's like a <laughs> more of a minor holiday versus like, like a huge holiday. Oh, so like Valentine's Day for us. Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, like in the city of like Pueblo or whatever, or wherever, yeah. It, um, it's like more popular there, but um, not like overall as like the whole nation. Not like so. Dia de los Muertos. There you go. It's not like that, huh? No, I don't <laughs> think so. It's, it's more of a modern holiday. So, but it's widely um, celebrated in America, uh, especially in places with large um, Mexican American populations. And we're, we're we live in Texas, so um, y'all. We're kind of <laughs> close to that that Mexican American border there, so people really celebrate Cinco de Mayo around here. So. Um, so that's just a little, few little facts about Cinco de Mayo for Fun. you. Fun. So. A little history lesson. A little history lesson. You're welcome, children. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, other than that, um, we can move right into making this drink for the most part. Um, how about you tell everybody what ingredients they're going to need for this drink? Like always, Miss Nostalgia is here for you. We've got some margarita mix, a uh, little bit of lime juice. Some tequila, whatever kind of beer that you enjoy. We chose Dos Equis. <laughs> One of my favorite beers. And we've got some colored sugar here. Colored sugar. So um, we realize that you probably aren't able to get um, a lot of items right now. Um, so that's why we're kind of simplifying it. A real margarita of any sorts. You would want to like fresh squeeze lime, stuff like that. But a lot of people just don't have, can't get to that right now and, and um, what are we about miss v on the show simplicity simplicity <laughs> don't forget about that simple syrup that she had the last episode um <laughs> so we're kind of simplifying it for y'all um so like this margarita mix here uh just get whichever one you know you like if you've ever had it if not we got baja bobs um it's actually sugar-free <laughs> so Baja Bob. That's what it's called. <laughs> Baja Bob's original margarita mix. He looks like he's having a blast on this bottle. He does. He, he looks like he's having a good time. Um, he's on vacation, got his flowered shirt on. Uh, the tequila that we have is um, El Himidor. Um, so here's the thing. You could go for a more um, expensive tequila, such as uh, Patron or even Jose Cuervo. But I feel like if you're going to do that, you should just take straight shots of it. Right. Get more bang for your buck. Um, and if you're going to make a, a margarita or a beer rita or a corona rita or whatever, um, you should really maybe go with something like this. First of all, it's cheaper. I think this was like 12 bucks or so. Like it wasn't super expensive. Nice. And it's um, actually 100% blue agave. Oh. That's going to add a lot of good flavor to your margarita since you're having to already kind of go with a mix versus real sweet, fresh squeezed limes. Blue agave. So it's, <laughs> it's supposed to be really good. So, um, the beer, uh, we like, we, you know, you can choose whatever beer you want. I've seen people do Bud Lights in these. I've seen people do Coronas. I've seen people do, um, all sorts of different beers. I like Dos Equis. Um, it's delicious. I didn't actually like beer until I 
started drinking Dos Equis. Uh, someone was like, here, try Dos Equis. And I was like, okay. And I enjoy it as well. I, I was kind of the same way, but I was a Blue Moon gal myself. Whenever I first had Blue Moon, then I was I like, mm, you know, beer's not, not that, that bad. bad. Right, exactly. Because <laughs> everyone likes Bud Light. I don't really care for Bud Light. And um, that's just a means to, to get a little tipsy girl. <laughs> I never really liked the taste of it. No, and so it's people, not about the taste. <laughs> no, no offense to Bud Light or anything. If you like Bud Light, then you like Bud Light. But I just didn't like it personally. And that's what everyone around me drank. So I was like, I always said I didn't like beer because that's all I'd ever had. Right. So this actually turned me on to beer. Expand your horizons. Try new beers. Right. <laughs> we don't, if you can't get limes, um, lime juice, just this little concentrated lime juice you can pick up at the store while you're getting some groceries. It's easy. Um, you really just need this to uh, wet the rim so you can put sugar and stuff on it. Um, what else you'll need is you don't have to have a shaker, but I'm bougie and like to have a shaker. Um, I'm, I have this bowl here because I'm scared when I combine everything, it might try to overflow or something. So this <laughs> is just a safety precaution. <laughs> Got a straw. Oh, Dos Equis is not a twist top beer. You have to have some it. sort of, um, what do you think, a beer opener? Bottle opener? Bo bottle opener. <laughs> a bottle opener. We're not about technical terms. Of um, and I have this cute little bartender one. So uh, you just need whatever one you have. Um, you need Keep your boop, boop to mm -hmm. measure stuff with, or a shot glass. Um, and I actually got these clips off of Amazon. They were not expensive. It came with like a pack of five or six um, that you can clip on there and put your beer in there. If you don't have those or can't get those, I've seen people just straight up put the beer in the cup, and that works too. Seems like it would work. Um, I've seen it. I've seen it done. So um, it does work. I am not doing that today though, because I got a clip. Right. So, we bougie. Um, as you can see, I have sugar around the the rim of this. I don't really like salt on my rim, so I like sugar. And it is in the colors of the Mexican flag, the green, white, and uh, red. Uh, Gorgeous. A little bit of mixology 101 here. A little lesson for you today: making colored sugar. All you have to do is get like a Ziploc bag, put a little tablespoon of sugar in there. Get some food coloring. Drop a couple drops in there. Um, I would add like maybe three or four, and if it's not as dark as you want it or whatever, then you can add some more. Um, then you just mash it together like this. Oh, wow. And that makes the colored sugar that you can do stuff. And you can do that with any color, so. Nice. So, I just wanna tell y'all that. She's so crafty, you guys. Little, little mixology 101 for ya, so. Our craftologist. Craftologist. <laughs> I like that. I need a, like a name pen, like here, a little name tag. Craftolo here. Simple craftologist. Simple, <laughs> simple craftologist. <laughs> so, you ready? You ready to make this drink? Always. All right. So, I'm not gonna put the clip on yet because I want to be able to, because it covers it. So, I want to like be able to put everything in. If you don't have a margarita glass, that's why I use these regular glasses that probably everyone has in their home. Sure. Um, margarita glasses can be expensive. Oh yeah. Um, and you just may not be able to act, get, you know, have access to it right now during this time. So simple glass like this. That's why we're trying to just show y'all how to do this at home. So, all right, you ready? Yes, ma'am. All right. So I'm actually gonna put the stuff in the mixer shaker thing, whatever we like to call it. <laughs> um, so first things first, you're going to need, um, two ounces of the, um, tequila. 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 I know I opened the door, I opened it earlier and I smelt it and I was like, oh, that smells like tequila. Bad memories. So, <laughs> one more. Oh, sorry. I used the wrong end. It's not your fault. <laughs> I was like, that looks kind of small. Okay. There we go. That's, that's more like it. And for- Not a Barbie doll, girl. <laughs> right. It might look like one, but I'm- I'm, I'm a grown gonna... woman. I need, I need the whole, uh, the whole Dose. shot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, give me the mixer now. We're gonna do four ounces of that. I actually got the right end up right, right here, so. Ooh, she's got the right end up. Uh, 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 uh. All right, that's two ounces. Oh, <laughs> you're trying to steal away from me. Math, honey. <laughs> you know that's not my strong suit. She's like, I'm gonna put this away. Not my strong suit. Okay, and in that goes. All right. And put this on here, make sure it's nice and tight, like always. Gotta keep it tight, keep it right. <laughs> so, put this on here. You gotta put your leg in there, and we're gonna shake this up for a little bit. Alright, guys, it's all shook up. 
gonna pour this in here. I hope this fills this up. We're gonna see. Actually, that's working really, really well. Professional mixologist. Yes, every last little drop. All right. And now, Miss Nostalgia gonna open this beer. Oh God, with these nails. <laughs> Let's do this. Miss Nostalgia opening this beer for us. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna put this clip on here. Let's see if I can do this right. All right, everybody, we're gonna put this right on in here. Um, let me get my bowl first, because I wanna make sure that this doesn't overflow or something on me. <laughs> it's just all about safety. All right, and... Do that thing in that hole, girl. Woo! And look at it, it's trying to overflow. It's not going to. Ah! Science! Science! <laughs> <laughs> okay. She's a scientist. <laughs> it's like really full though. Good luck. This is gonna be a mess. Alright, there we go. <laughs> I was afraid, I'm not gonna lie, girl. I was real scared for I you. I was scared too. <laughs> but it was fun. It was like an adrenaline rush. <laughs> um, but that's it. There you go. You got your little beer arita, cute little pink straw. Um, you can sip these all day long, just make you a few. Because we didn't really use much of either of those. Um, for, um... I mean, you got a lot of your alcohol in your beer, so... There's two shots. That's like three drinks in one drink. True story. Two shots and a beer. Two <laughs> shots and a beer. I like it. Alright, everybody. We are going to make Miss Nostalgia her margarita, and then we're going to come back for the... Taste it. Hi, and welcome back for Taste It. So, um, mine overflowed. <laughs> we had a little bit of technical difficulties while um, the camera was off. I tried to move it and it kind of said, oops. Solution to the problem. Take a sip out of your drink first. Right, yeah. <laughs> so a lot of my beer is gone too. Well, a lot of your ice is gone too. So. It's, got, it's that science. It's got to <laughs> balance it out. And so we got Miss Nostalgia hers. Uh, are you ready? Sure. All right. And taste it. That's a lot oh, that's good. Actually, I'll, I'll, I'll like this. It's really good. This one tastes different from that one. I, I tasted her drink before we came back. Because mine has more beer in it. Ah. So my beer drained down when some other stuff. But I can definitely taste my tequila still in it. Oh, yeah. I can taste tequila. Out. I taste a lot of, since I don't have a lot of beer mixed in with mine, there's a lot of margarita mix. <laughs> so, but I like um, my drinks. Yeah. I mean, I, I think it's still good, even though um, mine had a little bit of a, of a mishap. I think it tastes like a beer arena. I think we, I think we did it, girl. I think we achieved it. <laughs> and it was super easy to do, so, and uh, we made it pretty simple for everyone, including ourselves. Uh, I love the, I can definitely taste the hints of the blue agave oh, yeah. tequila, like it, it's a different taste of the tequila. I think it mixes very well. Yeah. I'm going to give it a B plus. I'm going to give it a B. Yeah, um, we've all had these. It's nothing. It's, it's nothing new. Fancy. So, um, but it's great. I would totally sip this by the pool. I would totally sip this at the barbecue as long as there's ten people or less there. Um, <laughs> Social distance. <laughs> Social distancing. Um, but that's it, guys. A little beer arena for you. Um, let us know if it works for you. If yours overflows and makes a giant ring on your table like mine did. Hopefully, you can do better than me. <laughs> Um, let us know what you think about it and um, suggest anything that you would maybe like to see us make in the future. Right. We're, we're, always, we're always open to suggestions. Always. always. <laughs> um, be sure to follow us on, of course, social media, Facebook, Instagram, Simply McPherson. Um, also like and subscribe to this channel, of course, because it's amazing and you'll get all the updates when we post new videos and stuff. Always want to know how um, to make a new drink. Absolutely. Share it with your friends. You know, share it on your Facebook, share it on your Instagram, share it on whatever you can. Share it and tell them to subscribe, please. Um, we actually have a pretty fun episode hopefully coming up uh, next time um, for a certain special holiday, but you'll have to tune in and see what it is. Um, and, you know, it, I think it's going to be a good time. It's always a good time here. <laughs> so. <laughs> 
that's all today, folks. Be sure to check us out right here on our channel, St. Louis McPherson, next time for Cocktail Party.